Hello, Bumpy Mixquickums here, and it's time for another first look. This is Undead Overlord, and it is an early access game, as you can see down here, early access Alpha 1.12. It is by Jump Core Productions, and it is an immensely fun game. I love the concept. I like almost everything about it. It is an early access. I want to emphasize that and keep that in the forefront of your mind, guys, so there will be problems and little issues that pop up. However, it's still a pretty cool game. The concepts are all there. It's real nice, and... Normally, you think Undead or Overlord, alright, well, you're going to have to go and slaughter all these billions and billions and billions and billions of zombies, and they're going to come take over everything. Well, they decided to go with a different route, and, well, let's get into it and see what I'm talking about. So, born in a small town, we're going to go hop over there, and it is loading. And I will be quiet during the cutscenes. Pathetic meat sacks will suffer as we, the minds from Dimension Z, possess their flesh and extend ourselves into their infinity. <laughs> Alright, so that's kind of the intro. So basically he's either summoned something or did something and an experiment went horribly wrong and we are a zombie and we're chewing away on this guy, we're chowing down, we're eating his everything. It's, it's unpleasant, it's really off-putting. But as you saw, it was a, a pleasant little town. Focus to manipulate. Left click on the zombie to select the zombie or drag a box around it. So there we go. Find Mule Meat Sack! Eh. With the zombie selected, right click the location to move. And there we are. Help the Meat Sack achieve pliancy. With the zombie selected, right click the human to attack. Alright, so we're going to go over there and we are going to munch away on the human. And down she goes. Congratulations, you now have control of a new zombie. So basically, you start the zombie apocalypse. You are this one dude, you came through whatever this experiment was, and you go around and you maul and kill things, and you start growing the zombie horde. Poor Barbara. We should probably deal with this guy, what do you think? I think it's a good idea. Alright, so we're going to go own this dude who's whining about Barbara. Barbara deserved everything she got, and there we go. And now he is part of our group as well. You can spin for perception. Q and E will rotate the camera. Alright, so as you can see, Q and E rotates us, and there we go. We are facing the door. We've gathered all. Chamber insufficient. Your new zombies aren't smart enough to open doors, but they can smash through them. So there we go. And we have broken through the door, and we are now heroes. Now center the camera on your next victims across the street, and you can use the WASD or the WASD to go across the street and see the next folks that we're going to be dealing with. And we're going to have to go chase them down, and we shall do so as we all file out of the room and we go and murder these fools. And here we go. And we're going to chase her down, and we're going to get our additional zombie to come join the party. Once she's up and running, it is going to be sweet, sweet, nice, and it's going to work out pretty well. we go over here and murder this guy, and we're going to go see if we can cut these fools off. Oh, this one's got a gun, so we're going to have to go take him out now. So it's kind of like an RTS game mixed with a zombie apocalypse where you control the zombies. So they're not the mindless horde that you know them to be. You actually get to be the mind for the zombies. So we're going to try and chase these guys down. I don't know that it's necessarily going to work super well, but we're going to attempt it anyway. And we're just murdering fools left, right, center. Oh, this dude's over here just capping our dudes. It's like, yeah, what's up, buddy? Alright. So we have taken several more zombies hostage. And we're going to cut this guy off finally and deal with him. And there we go. And he is now down. Unfortunately, you don't get any guns. But, eh, it's okay. Alright, so at this point, we're going to want to go inside and deal with the remaining people. So we're going to head inside. And we need to go make a phone call, but before we do that, we're going to go inside here and murder these fools. 
and we're going to prevent anyone from coming out. So they can run around the shop all they want, but if they want to come out, they're going to have to deal with us. And it's like, no, no, please don't hurt us, we're innocent, oh no! Yeah, you're not that innocent. And one of the cool things I really like about this is you actually keep the same outfits, well, to a degree, of what you were wearing beforehand. So you have the suit zombie, you have the, the burger shop worker zombies and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. Um, we're going to send all of our horde outside again. We'll select this guy to come over here and munch away on some food in this fridge over here. He's having a bad day. He's like, you know, why is the freezer got to be locked? Why you got to keep the meat from me? And then he just goes and goes to town on the meat patties here. I think he eats all of them. He's just like, nom, 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 nom. The meat patty, good. Human, better. And then when he's done, apparently he bleeds all over the meat patties. So now nobody wants it. They're contaminated. It's like, ew. I don't think so, buddy. All right. So we're going to send these folks over. And we're going to hope that we can actually deal with it. We're going to murder the phone. We have committed phone murder. All right. Meat sack, meat sack. Antibodies repulsive. Gather more zombie reinforcements before bad Juju Magumbo happens. So we have 26, 27 seconds, give or take, to get some more zombies into our posse. And we shall do so. And I'm going to break this off basically after each mission. The first look is only to be per mission. So the first mission doesn't take that long, to be honest. So it's going to be kind of a little bit shorter than most of our normal episodes and things. So keep that in mind. Alright, looks like we found our way through that. And we have our additional zombie now. And we managed to catch this one as well. The communication breakdown is here. It looks like there's some cops that want to get, get handled. So we're going to try to handle these guys. And hopefully our other zombies... Oh, they decided not to move. I'm going to try to get them up and running. Up to the front lines. And we're going to just try to massacre any and all the zombies that we can. And it looks like we did a pretty darn good job of it. So this first episode is probably only going to be about 10 minutes maybe, I would have to say. I don't foresee it being any longer than that. This guy did not choose a good place to go. The game does get harder as it progresses. So there's a pretty good story mode. But there's an open sandbox mode and stuff where you can actually add humans and zombies and all sorts of things. So there's still quite a bit here, but there's only three missions as it stands right now in the early access portion of the game. What I really wish is I can get a slightly different view. This top-down view is okay, but it's not great. And I wish it was just a little bit better. So, basically I'm going to roam around town now the rest of the way. It doesn't matter. I mean, after each mission you have to start all over again. From scratch, but... It is what it is. So you'll start with one zombie in the next mission, and so on and so forth. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And it doesn't look like we can actually... Oh, we can. Okay. Well, we're going to go back in here and make sure we kill each and every single thing. And that is your quest log. It does not look like we can... Oh, we can. Alright. We broke through, and we have done work. We're going to see if we can do anything else. Looks like this is the end of the map. Okay. Well, with that, the only thing we have left to do is destroy the police car, basically. Um, I mean, I'm sure we can still break into here. Maybe there's somebody in this back room. I don't know if it's an office or what. That's uh, an employee bathroom, it looks like. There's no one in there. And we'd even go back into the this other building, which I believe is where we started from. So what we're going to do now is go finish off this mission, and that's going to do it for this very first first look at the game. I said, guys, it's a fun game. The concept I really, really like, and I'm just hoping the game continues to develop and improve. Right now, you have hotkeys. You can actually do control groups, like want to, control group two is there, control group one's there. I mean, there's a lot here for all your RTS needs and or what you're used to. So you can con definitely control all your heroes or all your characters at once. Or in different control groups, you can set up flanking maneuvers and all sorts of things. We're gonna back away from it. I, I'm sure it exp or I'm not sure, I know it explodes once you get ready to destroy it, so... We get to the point where it is, and oh, we still lost two zombies. But overall, not too bad. So that's gonna do it, guys, for the first look at 
Undead Overlord. It's a fantastic game. It's quite fun. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share it, and I will be back later this week with more. I think I'll do all of my first looks before the sandbox mode this week. So the first three episodes, we'll get the first three missions done. Then after that, you'll get to see a little bit of the sandbox mode. Well, in case you guys wanted to see, I cut off my ending back at the uh, other end. And I wanted to show you guys that this is the actual scoreboard that you get. So if you like the cool hand-drawn artwork and stuff in the background and the zombies and the comic book look and feel, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, and then it shows you how, how good you scored. You know, chaos created, humans killed, zombies reanimated, and bonus objectives. Unfortunately, I did not find the bonus objective. And there's our total score. But there you have it, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There it is. So I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will... See you later.